Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm going to be working on a, a tree that I uh, first worked on in November for video. It was released in December and it is a privet. Uh, Ligastrum something or other. Anyway, it's in bloom now. It's The foliage is wild. I had taken it back to primary branches some secondary and I was hoping to get more secondary branches growing and it's exploded in growth. I'm probably a couple of weeks um, uh, late in getting started on this, but I think it has a good start. It's got some interesting things happening to it as well. I'm looking at it uh, just beyond the camera. All right, let's get started. All right, I believe this white marker here is where I indicated the front might be. I'm sure I said last time the front could change. That is still true. There's nothing sacred about the front of your tree until it's the front of your tree. A sucker, a brand new sucker. Let's get rid of that. First thing, another sucker. We're gonna work our way up and expose the trunk. Another sucker. Look at this, brand new growth. Wasn't there in November. We don't want that. Okay, sucker. Get rid of it. Sucker. Growing in the inside of the tree, get rid of it. Now here you start looking and seeing if any of these things are of any use to you. And let's see, from the front, this is kind of growing down. I think if I want anything hanging down, I'm gonna create those from up here. So no, I'm taking this off. I'll clear away some of this you know, I think I need to put a little more soil on this too because I'm getting a good root base right up here and I'd like to encourage more roots from there. I don't want to consider that to be too high. Like right along here would be great. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. So, branch by branch. Starting down here. By the way, these blooms are oddly fragrant. They're like spicy fragrant, if, if that makes any sense to you. All right, so this, there's a part of this branch that is sticking up. I had considered it, you know, good secondary growth, but it's not. So I'm getting rid of it now. And that, flatten that out a bit. There's also branching from here going up that I selected last time that I don't like either. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Also a big cut. I wanna create a variance between between the three main pads that this tree should have. And it's looking like it's the upward motion that I want to control. So this reaches out and up and in. I'm going to take the up and in part off and this has been pretty reliable in its ramification. Each place, let me see if you can see this, each place that it was cut divided into two, it ramified. So this is pretty reliable. I just have to be selective in the branches that I choose to eliminate or parts of the branches I choose to eliminate, hoping 
they'll start to go in another direction. Here's a case where I'm going to remove a piece of ramification in favor of subsequent ramification. And I'm going to take these back down to the second set of leaves, hoping I get further ramification there and making a nice ceiling on this, on this pad. This goes up. Again, I had chosen it before, but I no longer like it. So there is a part that goes up here, but if I could limit that as it grows, this I'm gonna go back to the second set, third set of leaves, and this I'm gonna go back to the third set of leaves. And there's enough time left on the season to really fill this in. I'm gonna to have to babysit this plant a little bit more than I probably have time for. And take this to here. This is a purely vertical branch that doesn't do anything for me in the long run. It's a pity. It's a nice branch. But if you can't be brutal, bonsai might not be your game. Ooh, that one hurt. Okay. This one divided very nicely. It's got one going toward the inside. I'm going to take that out. And I want it to divide more in this direction here. There's another piece here growing toward the inside. I'll take that out. This could grow into something someday, so I'm going to leave it. Here's a vertical piece off of this. This is the one. Oh, this is the one I said I would keep last. I'm going to keep this one too for the same reason. Uh, I think I want to shorten this. So now I've cleared up some light to get to this. I'm going to further do that by removing this branch. Uh, hmm. Here's a vertical one that's I like, it's filling a gap, but so I'm gonna keep that. Cut that side off and hope I get some branching further in this direction. Okay, back here, clean up some debris. Clean up You know, the right thing to do, I'm going to zoom up on this. The right thing to do might not be the most aesthetic thing to do here. So why don't you think about this with me, if you will. <coughs> Luca. Okay. So you may not be able to see this because it's right in the, in, in the plane, but there are two branches coming out. Um, it's a, it's a little bit of an awkward angle, but you got one, actually it divides into two going to the inside of the tree. So the right thing to do would be to slice this part off. But I'm not sure I want to do that. Yeah, why don't I? I'm just going to take this branch off and then come in with a uh, concave cutter and make a better transition there. Looking down at it, it helps with the separation, obviously, but you know, some of this interior growth I'm going to leave. All right, let me see if I can get a better cut here.
Yeah, not bad. So looking from the top, I don't know if you can see that. Still has a couple of branches to go. Take that down. There's a case where I want it to go straight up here as well, but I want that to push out in that direction. Some dead growth here or dying growth. Errant branch. Nice little elbow there. Nothing really wonderful attached to it. Let's see what happens. All right. Next branch is a odd looking leaf. I'm just going to take that off. You can really see the uh, control that was put on that branch there. It's still a little ugly but we'll see what the branch does. All right, moving on to this branch here. I love the birds. I'm a uh, fairly recent hearing aid wearer. And the thing I missed most was the birds. And I have to say, I got the birds back. All right, here's a, a, a branch that kind of droops down. It is a ramified piece of secondary branching. I think I'm gonna take that back beyond where I took it last time. I'm gonna, I need to reveal more of the structure. So, I'm going to be taking these little leaves and little branchlets off. Anything emanating from an intersection. Toast at the moment. I'm, I'm happy with this tree. You know? was an impulse buy, it was mislabeled. It was in with the, I told the story, I think I got it wrong last time I told it. it. It was in with the forsythia, but it was marked ligastrum. It didn't say privet, but what is it? It's privet. And the, you know, this is a, uh, uh, an odor I recognize from my youth. However, I didn't know what it was. And there was privet on our property. I remember the name. Um, so here again, I have some branching that I selected last time as being where I want it. Now, I want it much lower. So I'm foregoing some ramification. For shape. And if you can find branches that are, you know, are going to grow in a certain way, you just look at them and you oh, that's going to grow in this way. If they're not going where you want them to go, now's the time to get rid of them. I'm trying to have distinct levels in this tree. Three distinct levels. I 
and this whole thing seems to be out of the uh, out of the game. There is a little branch coming out the bottom of that. Maybe that'll take off. Here's, okay. I'm pruning up the inside of this branch and I'm going to decide about this whole thing. Part of it goes forward in the direction I want. I'll save that right now. And I want it to be about this high. So maybe it'll ramify from there. I'll cut the flowers off because they're just sapping energy at this point. This feels brutal, but it's not. Not when you see the results happening. Ooh, that's what I asked for. Ooh, that's what I wanted. Or, ooh, I never expected that. Okay, this is a bit wrong here, but I don't dare go below this point. I take the tip off of that. Tip off of this. Hope you're enjoying my birds as much as I am. I'm gonna cut the flower off wherever it's coming out of. And decide about this branch. Do I want it? No, I don't want it. There is a branch, a little branch piece there that might be fun to extend. You can see some sunlight now, so maybe it'll grow. This is the view where I'm going to want to be determinate of the height. I'm going to here with the height for now. And I'm even doing that on the large new growth. We'll look at this again.
All right, so that was a long, silent session <clears throat> with the camera running of me trying to envision this tree. I no longer think that with the way we prune these branches, and I think we can prune them better. I'm gonna just take this down to a leaf scar and hope something grows. This too. Oh, well, there's a leaf there. Take this vertical section off. Shorten these ends. So, can that still be a good front? Right here. I don't think so. See, I have an opportunity here to, to take a piece of this I'm trying to see the camera a little too far away from me. Yeah, if I take this off, it has a distinct bend in that direction and maybe could finally give this branch some taper. Although what I'd really like to see happen is, you know, viable branching coming from here. And I didn't see that this time. A lot of it was on the inside. But this has a nice curve to it. And that would complement it if this had the nice curve to it. So what does that mean with regard to this branch? I don't think I can make any major design decisions here until I finally stop sorting out my mistakes from last time, you know, I'm seeing places where I let growth grow that it shouldn't have. There's a number of reasons for that. The most viable reason is that, well, I didn't know any better, but now I do. All right, so at least, oh, this goes to the inside. At least there are three distinct pads. I can make a decision later on as to whether or not this branch comes off how I display the tree. The tree wants to be displayed with, with this as the front. Because the root splays right there. I said I want to raise the soil level. And there are some good surface roots you can tell these roots have some very live ends, so I wouldn't want to disturb them. But this was due for a repot. Never got to it. And just got its hair cut. So I hope I can cut this down to a reasonable length. I guess I should have done uh, some fast motion here. Um, Thank you once again for uh, being a subscriber. If you are, if you aren't a subscriber, this is the kind of work I do. I'd love for you to uh, be part of it. Give it a like, comment if you want. I try to answer all the comments. 
and thank you for keeping me company in my backyard. <laughs>